All right, salam alaikum. All right, let me make sure everything is still good. All right, so. Yep, okay, all right. So, um, I'm not at the window, so somebody shared something with me. Thought it was pretty funny. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, hopefully that's really not in the way. Uh, okay. We'll just... Over 400 teachers underwent mandatory training in Michigan that exalted Islam, but denigrated Christianity, America, and of course, white males. The training leads people to believe Islam is the peaceful one. First of all, that was written, okay? <laughs> and not written by him. That wasn't written by him, okay? True Let's religion. get that straight. While Christianity is just a man-made false religion. Yeah. Richard Thompson, president of the Thomas More Law Center, described it as well-orchestrated Islamic propaganda campaign and said, quote, we found that the teachers were subjected to two days of Islamic propaganda where Islam was glorified, Christianity was disparaged, and America bashed. But that's not all. There's also another lawsuit, this time in Maryland, where high school students were required to profess the Shahada, the Islamic conversion creed. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Now, the school did not allow a Christian student, Kaylee Wood, to opt out, and they failed her for refusing to submit. It's interesting that Islam is trans... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, first of all, that has nothing to do with Islam. Whoever did that, that was wrong. That was complete wrong of them. Islam, in the Quran, um, I wonder if I could switch uh, tabs. Um, uh, let me see. I apologize, guys, because I am on just one tab. And... uh. Let me see if I could um, find something. Public views. Um, oh no. Um, okay. All right. Well, listen. You guys know we don't we don't force people in our religion. Just because in Islamic countries don't then they come to America to force people to say the Shahada doesn't even make sense. All right. First of all. They uh, made us say in school, uh, uh, our uh, 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 what was it, uh, the national anthem, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, they took that out of school and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe, you know, this is a new thing. And this video was in 2019. Now, she gave me a video in 2019, so I don't know what she's talking about. Translated as submission. I'm David Fiorazzo, and this is Christ and Culture. I agree with Thomas More Law Center's Richard Thompson that across the U.S., special treatment is being given to the Muslim faith. Government schools do so under the guise of diversity, inclusion, multiculturalism, or while teaching history or social studies. Let me ask you this. Would this ever be tolerated if it were Christianity or another religion? Nope. In the training, Christian scriptures are described as being corrupted, while the Holy Book of Islam, the Quran, is said to contain the pure word of God. According to the report of hundreds of teachers attending the workshop, not one teacher challenged the fabrications about Islam, the disrespect toward Christianity, or attacks on America. Now, these cases make me wonder what our great grandparents or even our founding fathers you know, I, yeah, I, I, would say. Imagine today's students in an American let's school listen to this. being taught God's moral laws or that Jesus Christ is the truth and the only way to eternal life. Instead of the Islamic Shahada, Imagine public schools requiring kids to profess, for example, Romans 10, 9 and 10, which says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your yeah. heart, God raised him from the That's dead, you will be God. saved. 
for with so the heart with the a Bible. person believes, resulting in righteousness. With the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. But, as we know, the Bible has long been banned, and Jesus was rejected by the U.S. Department of Education. Now, a Freedom of Information Act request right. filed by the Thomas More Law Center revealed some alarming information about this two-day teacher training session on Islam. This campaign has been presented in at least nine separate school districts in Michigan, as well as colleges and professional organizations in states including California, Texas, Georgia, and Florida. But there's more. Schools that have already or I'm previously to, had teachings on Islam include it, including. I'm going to show you guys something, but I'm going to go into this a little further. Let's see. We ain't going to watch this whole entire thing. Um, but, you know, um, this is nuts, uh, you know, because it's kind of contradictory because we're in, we're about to hit. 2022 as you can see today is uh december 26 2021 uh 8 18 p.m um let me see what that notification is about um, uh, um okay whatever all right so all right so let's just it's five pillars and, New Jersey, Virginia, Washington, Georgia, Minnesota, Tennessee, Oregon, West Virginia, and South Carolina. So who was the expert hired to train teachers? Her name is Huda Essa of Culture Links LLC, who described herself as an advocate of social justice and encourages children to take pride in their many identities. She also claimed that white males are more dangerous than Islamic radicals. Now, Essa provided no truthful information on Sharia law, jihad, or the harsh treatment of women. Oh. All references to terrorism were dismissed. That's it. He's, he, he, he done pissed me off. He done pissed me off. I'm sorry. Okay. Jihad is in your Bible. Okay. I made a video on it. Okay. Okay, so I made a video on it. Let's go up here. Videos. Oh. Oh, yeah, here it is. Did you know that jihad is in the Bible? This may be shocking to some people watching this video, but the Bible has been translated into Arabic. In fact, if you open your Bible right now and peruse through all of the translations of John chapter 3 verse 16, Allah is the word used to refer to God in the Arabic version right at the top of your page. Therein lies the problem with the clash of civilizations that extremists of all sorts seek. There are many elements in the opposing civilization that are also part of yours. The hate machine, however, depends on making people and concepts as foreign as possible for the sake of demonizing them. This brings us to the discussion of the big scary J word. At a lecture at Tulane University a decade ago, I asked the audience what they thought jihad means. One woman shouted out at the top of her lungs, death and destruction. Her answer might be what many Americans have been led to believe about this word. Muslim Americans often find themselves in an impossible place. Islamophobes define and impose their definitions of Islamic terms, such as jihad, in ways that are inauthentic and violent, and then demand that Muslims reject the terms and text as they have portrayed them, or risk being deemed extremists for clarifying. Just to let you know, you guys know, I invest a lot in my content, okay? I hire professionals to do voiceovers for me and stuff like that. Sometimes I don't have time to do voiceovers, uh, you know, and do my own videos and stuff like that, but... I, for the sake of a law, I, I, you know, do whatever it takes to, you know, sacrifice, you know, uh, to do dawa. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 my content has been very expensive. So, you know, if you could support me sometime in the future, you know, uh, believe me, I, I don't think nobody would be able to uh, give me the money, amount of money I've spent. But, 
you know, I will be taking donations pretty soon. But just to let you guys know, it's a professional person, uh, speaks very well English. And hey, hey I, I ain't going to lie. He speaks better than me. I would have probably stuttered and... ...and their meanings. The latest example of this is the controversy surrounding Linda Sarsour's usage of the word to define opposition to Donald Trump in accordance with the saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the greatest jihad is a word of truth spoken in the face of a tyrant. Of course, right-wing pundits quickly pounced on the opportunity to not only demonize Linda, but the forbidden word that she dared to invoke. It's too late to rescue the true meaning of the word now, they insist. But if we're going to ask Muslims, what about Arab Christians who read the Bible in Arabic? In 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 18, the word jihadah, the root of jihad, is used to describe one's internal struggle. It reads, if it is a jihad, struggle, for the righteous to be saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? 4.18. In both I Timothy and 2 Timothy, we find two references to jihad in the Arabic Bible. I have fought the good jihad, fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. 2 Timothy 4-7. 4-7-7. Fight the good jihad, fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I Timothy 6.12. 6.12. Crusade and jihad. The fact of the matter is that Muslims use the term jihad similarly to how Christians use the term crusade. The Christian term right, can so mean that, anything from a spiritual you know, mission to evangelism whole, to politics. The video is to mil- on my channel. You know what I mean? Um, let's um, let's see what the president of the United States that just got elected, what he says. Salam alaikum. We Muslims are sick and tired of being labeled as terrorists, and that we involve themselves in piss drinkers. Christians say that paradise to us is a whole bunch of orgies. Yeah. How can you be Christians? Promote such a thing is our question. That's the Using problem. words like praise Jesus, glory God. If Jesus was alive today, would he be in comments supporting this is our question. It's so sad because our religion doesn't teach us to hate you. So this is Christian Prince. In Instagram, you name it. <laughs> See, you hear that evil out loud? <laughs> My name is Islamic Prince, and I made this all happen, as far as this YouTube channel. I did it because I love this religion. It's a shame that it had to come to this, to the point where I have to block my blood family. Of it course, seems this like my is sister man. is me. I put a lot of money into making all this happen. I will not come into something so beautiful, then get attacked as soon as I jump into something so beautiful. As Guys, I noticed one of day. my legs now, broke. The only thing I ask you, you see how it's channel, standing up in the air? For donations, very minimal donations. Because I don't know how I'm going to continue everything. I don't know how I can even show broke. you my bills. I don't even have a life no more. It, but that doesn't consider matter. Consider it a Muslims blooper. treasure this world. Because you will leave everything behind, even you. Our skeleton. Your body. Now I am not looking forward to getting rich from subscribers or viewers. Only enough to maintain this content. Unfortunately, I lost my job because I got criticized for my family member. I know the backstory sure. online, but they won't admit it. We became separate when I became Muslim. Now I do have plans to make commercials. Hopefully they could launch. Four years ago, I had an act of God happen to me. It couldn't be explained by a normal human being. So I started looking into religion and started noticing these fake Christians, okay. like Christian guys, friends, this disappointing playlist. You guys, according to the Quran, uh, I want you guys to see this in front of the camera. So we're Muslims and the gospel, according to the Quran. I'm alaikum. Let's go in to see what David was talking about. But before I, you know, I want you guys to see this. Okay. You see this? Abdul, uh, this is what the Christians uh, do. But they talk about us, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 we don't talk dirty about them. But you see how these people are talking about us. I just showed you in a previous uh, channel uh, how jihad, but I showed you jihad in the Bible. Okay. All right. Whatever. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Jesus' followers proclaim David him Wood. as their risen Lord. The gospel that Christians have been reading for nearly 2,000 yes, years you see it. tells us that anyone who claims to be a prophet about Jesus. Well, our Muslim friends this have... The next president of the United States, Mr. Joe Biden. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Hi, everyone. And to everyone at MGA's for organizing this event. Look, uh, I want to thank MJ's uh, PAC for endorsing my campaign. I can't thank you 
enough for all you've done so far and that for uh for t thank you for taking the time for watching today look one of the things i think is important i wish i wish we taught more in our schools about the islamic faith i wish we talked about all the great confessional faiths. now it's one of the great confessional faiths. that was in 2019 realize, one of my avocation is theology don't realize is that we, we all come from the same root here in terms of our fundamental basic I don't know. beliefs. And uh, well, I just want to suspect. thank you for, uh, for giving me the opportunity for being engaged, for committing but uh, to action me... this November in the process. American Voices is part of my administration. If I have the honor of being president, I will end the Muslim ban on day one. Day one. I'll work with Congress to pass hate crime legislation. I like to make sure that all values and trust continue to champion. I got to show you guys the funny one. We can't afford anyone to uh, stay in the sidelines and sit this election out. We need you. I need you. Yes, up dollars, and you'll get to see I, it. I, and you'll watch get to this. It. But and let me just tell you, Chris, let me just say something. <laughs> This was so famous. I don't know how you guys didn't hear this. bunch of people trying to figure out what uh but uh, as you can see um i'll show you where uh you know close player yes salam alaikum we oh. muslims are sick salam alaikum we muslims are sick and tired of being labeled as terrorists and that we and scream as I will. Finally quote some Christian writers and their Jesus birth the untold story disclaimer. Our videos is dedicated to promoting God's only true religion. But I have this on my we YouTube channel. Quote some so Christian you guys writers can, and their uh, articles to show the corruption you know, that occurred. It. I'm gonna go ahead and end alaykum. this. We Muslims are sick and tired of being labeled as terrorists, and that we support child molestation. We are a fake and scream as I will. Do you wish to know how I would...